and what we have today guys is a super awesome high ultra high efficiency automatic chicken and egg and feather and cooked chicken farm bedrock edition for the win hey there guys skippy here from skippy six gaming guys coming to you with a cool uh, improvement on the last chicken farm guys this all started with someone sending me a map i don't know who it is again reach out to me uh, and we can link your map. Long story short is I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he was like, hey, this old chicken farm down there, that would give us problems because sometimes when the baby chickens would grow up, it would nudge the other baby chickens, they would all die and the farm wouldn't work that good. In addition, there's ones where the chickens actually will start stockpiling eggs in the dispenser and that's not good. So what happens was, this build over here that we did not too long ago is going to trigger two fires. So if two eggs go at one time, this is probably the fastest, cheapest one. But this one here does not lose any. This will fire four eggs at one time, meaning eggs will never stockpile up. It even has a little light. How awesome is that? So let's build this, guys. For this build, you're going to need one dispenser, uh, two redstone... Uh, well, redstone hoppers, I guess I'll call them that. One comparator, one barrel or a chest. Two redstone observers, one block of choice, one redstone repeater, three half slabs, one redstone lamp, one bucket of lava, three item frames, or four if you really want, a ten glass, one sticky icky piston, and one ball. Okay, guys, let's start this build off. We're going to get this done right away, guys. It starts with the barrel. More or less ground level. I guess that's one way to explain it. Hopper into the barrel, and then on top of this hopper is where we want the slab. This is your traditional uh, traditional farm, so let's go like this. What we're going to do here, actually, is let's go ahead and put this observer down. So we're going to want this observer to be on the back of this hopper, facing up, right there. And then it's going to go to the dispenser, right here. Sorry, my hopper is a little messed up, but right there, not like that, not like that. Maybe more like that and then grab your glass so basically we know that what we're gonna do is have a glass on each side like this ding 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 we know that there's gonna be lava in this glass right here uh, we could go ahead and use a half slab uh, let's go ahead and use our wall as well bang half slab right here to cover the lava bang like this and then the easiest thing to do here is throw our wall because we're going to want to be able to add those seeds and that's going to be right here. Once these are done, we know that these ones here get a little bit of glass and a little bit of glass. Looks good. So what's going to happen here, guys? You guessed it. There's going to be uh, chickens dropping eggs into this guy. So let's go ahead and jump up here. We're going to just use this area to crouch, crouch down and put another hopper into this dispenser right here again. Might as well crouch place just to place this glass because this is going to be the back where the chickens go in and lay the eggs. So uh, yeah, nice, nice, and nice. I'm going to make it too high. When you set this up in survival, you might want to make it too high. It makes it easier. Uh, we'll do the rest after because I don't want the annoying chicken sounding egg thing. So, okay. Redstone lamp under here. Once this redstone lamp is here, then we're going to start getting our stuff going with uh, this guy here. Then we want this guy down, down, and like this. Bang. And then this guy here, what we're going to want is an actual... Let's just put this guy here. We're going to want an observer facing forward like this. That's right. Take this guy here. Grab yourself your redstone repeater. Redstone repeater is going to be facing forward into this guy right here. Don't need this guy right here. Solid blocks. Okay, so zigzag out. And then what we want is for a piston to push this guy down. So let's just get rid of this, get rid of this, and throw a sticky piston down like that. Come on, guys. How awesome is that? We're almost done. Just two more seconds here. We're going to go ahead and put a solid block here with a comparator out the back. So this is going to give you the four that you uh, desire for the efficiency, right? That's what we're here for is efficiency. It's going to go back here. Bang, bang, boom. Let's go ahead and throw some chickens in there uh, since we have the... So, you know, it's done. Bang. So we want to get rid of this bottom glass right here. There. Bang. So that's gonna that's gonna mess a bunch of stuff up. So I guess it won't actually. Everything's out of the system. So chicken. Throw a bunch of chickens in. And again, if you uh, don't like the way it looks, go ahead and uh, you know, you cover it up right there like that. Bang. 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 This is how I do my chicken farms right there. I think that's the best simple way. And you can see. So like I said, guys, we want to look at it. We want four eggs to come out. Four eggs at one time. One, two, three, four. No, four. And then put it in. One, two, three, four. No losses. All the eggs will always be getting used. 
how awesome is that guys don't forget to subscribe and smash the like before you go and uh, yeah you can throw your item frames on here if you want it to look pretty you know you got to do a little item frame uh, a little item frameology and uh, yeah it's up to you I just put eggs because somewhere you could just stop it so that it collected eggs in there if you really wanted to uh, you could just lock this guy right there There's several ways to do it but yeah, guys don't forget to smash that like before you go uh, and uh, yeah, you put a solid block on the bottom of this guy actually Catch on the next one.